Here, Jen Caruso and the keeper. Here we go. This could be the game. Caruso, what a move. Shot. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome to Marciano Stadium. Tonight we got ourselves a barn burner between the West Bridgewater Wildcats and your Brockton Boxers. Right off the bat, Brockton takes possession. That is Jen Caruso, electric player for the Brockton Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. West Bridgewater with possession now, trying to get it out of their own zone. Brockton takes it back. And here's Narita Montron bringing it up through their offensive zone. Pass and a save by the goalkeeper for the Wildcats. Brockton now excellent foot skills by Ariana Silver Sylvia for the boxes. There's a shot and good defense by the Wildcats keeps that one out. We'll have a goal kick forthcoming from the Wildcats. Rita Montron with the ball now. Rita right out in front. Here's an opportunity. A shot and an excellent save by the Wildcat goaltender. Okay, so Lauren Seaver is about to kick it off from her own goal. Because she's cool like that. Because she is cool like that. And she's spreading a sickness around lately. They call it the Seaver fever. Brockton's record as of the start of this game, 7-5-2. So they will be in the postseason tournament by default. There are a number of different options on the scenarios. And basically they all come down to New Bedford and what they do.
Shot on net and another save by the goaltender for the Wildcats. She's been tested early and often in this game. So we're only about five minutes in in unofficial time. We'll have box of possession and a throw-in. And that one goes out of bounds off of West Bridgewater. So another Brockton throw-in. Jen Caruso unable to keep possession. That one out of bounds by the West Bridgewater bench off of Brockton. Here's an opportunity for West Bridgewater. The cross and out of bounds ruled, I believe. Yes, it was an out of bounds. And another out of bounds right off the right off the throne from Brockton. There's an opportunity for the Wildcats if they can catch it. And it's out of bounds, and we'll have a goal kick from Lauren Seaver. Narita Montron now with it at midfield. Over to Jen Caruso. Caruso is an offensive powerhouse. She's got 11 goals on the year. Possibly. Possibly. Possibly 12. Possibly 12. Brockton kicks that one out. And we will have a West Bridgewater throw in. Good takeaway there by Brockton. Pass into the middle for Brockton, could not con connect to Jen Caruso. West Bridgewater takes over. She passes up, here's an opportunity for the Wildcats. Unless number 13 for the boxers, Lindsey Gomes gets it and clears it. Montrand now with it in the boxer zone. She's going to go back and get it. And it rolls out of bounds. We'll have a boxer throwing. And that is a handball on the Wildcats. So a free kick forthcoming. To be taken by Lindsey Gomes. West Bridgewater with it now in their offensive zone. Brockton, excellent defense, takes that one away. Yo, 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 
And an offsides ruled on the Wildcats. Lindsey Gomes getting ready to kick this one off. Montrand with it now. Excellent footwork by Narita Montrand. And here's an opportunity, number five, Michaela Norman. If she can catch it, she does. Fighting with a defender. And they rule it out of bounds. A questionable call by the referees. We hear a shout out to one of our own newbie Rateau coming from some of the fans here at Marciano Stadium. Newby, of course, the award-winning director and producer of a number of, of documentaries. Too many to name. I think he's up to four. Another out of bounds and a boxer throwing. Jen Crusoe with it now. Michaela Norman with the takeaway. Narita Montron with using her excellent speed. Takes it away and gets it over to Ariana Silvia for the boxers. And we have a whistle. But the West Bridgewater goaltender just put it into play, I think. Something we haven't seen here yet this season. Here to Montron with a excellent kick that went behind her. Now Ariana Sylvia taking it up into the Wildcat zone. Back and forth action here tonight at Marciano Stadium so far. Good cross is an opportunity for the Wildcats. And Lindsey Gomes try, trying to break that one up. The shot on net. What a save by Lauren Seaver! Wow! Everyone had counted the boxes out on that one, but Lauren Seaver comes up with the big save. Still early in this game, and that could pump some energy into the Brockton Boxers. There's Jen Caruso now. Excellent footwork. The shot off of one of the defenders. And a wildcat throw in. Good sequence of events there for the Brockton Boxers.
Lindsey Gomes boots that one deep for Jen Caruso. That one goes out of bounds, and we will have another Wildcat throwing. That one is ruled out of bounds off of Brockton. So I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action here from Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium this fine Monday evening. Excellent night for soccer. Not too cold, not too warm. There's an opportunity for the boxes. The cross. Just wide. The Wildcat goaltender got a hand on that and it trickled just wide. And we'll have a corner kick coming up for the boxes. Jen Caruso will kick this one off. The kick, and a good save by the Wildcat goaltender. Oh, you know what? She wrote keeper next to 19 for me. Lots of back and forth action between the 20 yard lines for both teams. Brockton with a good takeaway there. And a turnover right back to West Bridgewater. And that one will go out of bounds right in front of the boxer bench. We have a pushing penalty called on the boxers. Free kick coming for West Bridgewater. Good defense by Brockton to take it away. Narita Montron trying to get it up to Jen Caruso. Unable to do so. Montron with it again. Nicole Fernandez streaking oh. up the sideline for the boxes. Really? And that's out of bounds on the Wildcats. Kaylee Mency throws it in for the boxes. Lindsey Gomes stops it. Excellent footwork there. <laughs> Kaylee Mency up to Jen Caruso. Could not connect on the pass to Narita Montron, so Lindsey Gomes back in her own zone. Trips over it a little bit, and it is kicked out into the boxer bench. We have some substitutions now for both teams. Lindsey Gomes with the good defense to clear that one. And it goes out of bounds. And a West Bridgewater substitution. This is number 18, Anya 
Welsh Batstone coming in for the Wildcats. Lindsey Gomes kicks that back towards it midfield. Rita Montrand puts it further. And West Bridgewater brings it back the other way. Brockton takes over. About halfway through this first half. Score is still 0-0. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. This presentation of Brockton Community Access Sports. Goal kick forthcoming for the Wildcats. Montron takes that one over to Caruso. Caruso over to Haley Miller. This is number 12 for the boxers, Haley Miller. Kaylee Mency in a foot race trying to get that ball. West Bridgewater has the corner. The shot and a good save by Lauren Seaver. Spreading the Seaver fever around even further is the goalkeeper for the Brockton Boxers. Ariana Sylvia now with it at midfield. Over to Narita Montron, back to Sylvia. To the middle of the field. The pass up to Jen Caruso. The shot and the goal! A Brockton boxer goal scored by none other than number 22, Jen Caruso, for her 12th, possibly 13th on the year. And the Brockton Boxers take a 1-0 lead a little more than halfway through this first half. <laughs> West Bridgewater called with a Push, elbow, push, one of each. Brockton boxes will have a free kick either way. Lindsey Gomes ready to kick it deep. Here's an opportunity for Brockton. Didn't get all of the shot and a save by Emily Quinn, the goalkeeper for the Wildcats. Lindsey Gomes chasing that one down, but it will go out of bounds. Brockton will have a throw in. And a substitution for Brockton, number two, Yasmini Texera coming into the game. Brockton with good defense kicking that one out of bounds before West Bridgewater could do some damage. Wildcat throwing. Good takeaway by Brockton. 
dogfight up the sideline. Sylvia gets it over to number 18, Maya Powers, for the boxers, who then turns it over to the Wildcats. Here's an opportunity for the Wildcats. Keeps it in bounds. The cross. The shot. Wide. Lauren Seaver will kick it off from her own net. As number 14 for the boxers, Maria Del Pico comes into the game. Low line drive kick by Lauren Seaver. West Bridgewater still with possession and an offsides ruled. So Brockton will have a free kick from its own 15 yard line. Brockton with it now. Jen Caruso passes, but it is turned over to the Wildcats. So Brockton with the 1-0 lead here in the first half. Like to take this opportunity to do a little bit of self-promotion. Brockton Community Access does tweet the scores of all the Brockton High sporting events at half or for football, quarters, and any other random events that might be happening, you can follow us at The Brockton Channel. Our very own Mike Simmons doing the majority of tweeting. The weird fact is Mike does not have a Twitter account of his own, but yet he loves tweeting so much on Brockton Community Accesses. Brockton now with possession. West Bridgewater takes over. Lindsay Gomes in a foot race now for the ball. She takes it and kicks it out of bounds. We will have a West Bridgewater Wildcat Corner kick, I believe. Yes. So we tick down to 12 minutes left in unofficial time. The official time is kept on the field of play. Jen Caruso able to track that one down. Now streaking up the sideline is Caruso. She's got Yasmini Texera across the field. She crosses it, Texera right in front, unable to get clean possession of the ball and West Bridgewater kicks it out of bounds. Good opportunity there for Brockton, who now has a throw in. Narita Montron now with it. And she gets laid out by the Wildcat defender. So we'll have a free kick by Narita Montron. I'm not really sure what to expect from this. She might kick it on net or she might decide to send it to a teammate. She kicks it. West Bridgewater able to deflect that one. And they clear it. Lindsey Gomes kicks it back deep. With a pushing penalty called on the boxes. Narita Montrand with an excellent jump to, oh, what a kick. What a deflection by Narita Montrand. She just kind of stuck her leg up behind her, and the ball magically found it. Lindsey Gomes now. 
Turns it over to West Bridgewater. Lindsay Gomes again. Back to West Bridgewater. That is number 15. Fiona Carruthers. Emily Quinn takes that one for the Wildcats, and she will kick it off from her own goalie box. Number nine for the box is Kaylee Mency with it now. Over to number 24, Ariana Sylvia. To Montron, back to Sylvia. She puts it out in front. Nobody is home. Quinn picks it up. Montrand with it now. Over to Sylvia. Sylvia's got some room. Over to Yasmini Texera, who deflects it, and it's picked up by Emily Quinn. A couple of good opportunities there for the Brockton boxers. However, the score remains at one to nothing. West Bridgewater will have a free kick at just about midfield. Lindsey Gomes chasing that one. We have a Brockton substitution as Lindsey Gomes tried to pick that one up and put it back into play very quickly. This is number eight, Nicole Fernandez coming into the game, replacing Yasmini Texera. Montron with it now. Streaking up through midfield is Narita Montrand. She takes the hit to move it on to Nicole Fernandes. And it goes out of bounds. We will have a corner kick from Brockton. It looks like Jen Crusoe will take this one for the boxes. So I'm looking down, I see the one, the only newbie Rateau waving to someone. Might have to get the newbie research team to find out who he's waving to. Haley Miller passes it over to Montrand. Kicks it deep, and Emily Quinn picks it up for the Wildcats. So we tick down to about six and a half minutes in unofficial time. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action here from Marciano Stadium. The score is Brockton one, the West Bridgewater Wildcats nothing. So we have a West Bridgewater substitution. Another Wildcat thrown with about five and a half minutes left in unofficial time. The shot and a good diving save by Lauren Seaver. Lauren Seaver has not been tested often here in the first half, but when she has, she's been very strong. Lindsey Gomes now. 
puts that deep into West Bridgewater territory and it goes out of bounds. Wildcat throwing. Lindsay Gomes with it now. She puts it across midfield. West Bridgewater takes over. Brockton takes it right back. Rita Montron with an excellent spin. And we have a penalty called and Rita Montron will have a free kick. The kick is up, and Emily Quinn for the Wildcats makes another save. Montron back to Lindsey Gomes. And it goes out of bounds off of Lindsey Gomes, so West Bridgewater will have a throw in. And Brockton heads that one out of bounds. Number 11 for the boxers, Morel Marion, puts that one up to midfield. Rita Montron now with room to run up the sideline. The shot. And an excellent jumping save by Emily Quinn for the West Bridgewater Wildcats. Very high kick by Quinn. Dogfight going on at midfield, and West Bridgewater is whistled for a penalty. The crowd here at Marciano Stadium goes nuts, and Lindsey Gomes will kick this one off. Montrand heads that one up. Could pass through the middle for West Bridgewater. However, it takes a funky bounce and ends up in Brockton's possession. As we tick down to just about two minutes left in unofficial time. An opportunity, but Emily Quinn for the Wildcats makes another save. And from here on out, the official time will be kept on the field. Brockton will have a throw in deep in Wildcat territory. And Brockton will have another throw in here. It's about one and a half minutes left. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action here from Marciano Stadium. The score as we near the end of the first half is Brockton 1, West Bridgewater nothing. However, West Bridgewater with the ball now. At midfield. West Bridgewater throwing, throw in coming from deep in Brockton's territory. The cross, nobody home, Brockton takes over and just boots it up to midfield. 
West Bridgewater with an opportunity here. Number seven for the Wildcats streaking. And a good save by Lauren Seaver for the Boxers. Refs looking at their watches on the field. West Bridgewater takes possession. Jen Caruso picks it up for the Boxers. Over to Ariana Silvia. Narita Montron now moving up towards the goal. Rita Montron controlling in the corner. And West Bridgewater carries it out of bounds. Narita Montron will throw it in for the Brockton Boxers. And that is the end of the first half. Excellent half so excellent game so far from Marciano Stadium. The score at halftime. Brockton Boxers won. The West Bridgewater Wildcats nothing. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bring you all the action. We'll see you for second half action. It's easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? Buzz driving is trunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, we welcome you back to Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium for the second half of West Bridgewater Wildcats visiting the Brockton Boxers. Your score, the Brockton Boxers lead the Wildcats by a score of one to nothing. Jennifer Crusoe scoring the lone goal of the first half. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action in this presentation of BCA Sports. Marina Montron now. And we'll have a Brockton corner kick. A throw in, rather. Ariana Sylvia puts it out in front of the net. West Bridgewater with good defense kicks it out of bounds. <laughs> Number 11 for the boxers, Morel Marion, throwing it in for the Brockton boxers. Over to two, Narita Montron. That's Bridgewater with possession at midfield. Lindsey Gomes with an excellent step takes possession over for the Brockton Boxers. West Bridgewater throw-in coming up. Lindsey Gomes with an excellent kick up through midfield. Morel Marion now with it. She gets it over to... Uh, Yasmini Texera for the boxers. We'll have a wildcat throw in. Number four, Ariana Almeida kicks it further into the wildcat zone for the boxers. Brockton box are thrown right in front of the West Bridgewater bench.
Lindsey Gomes chasing that one down. She kicks it off of a West Bridgewater forward. Here's an opportunity if West Bridgewater can get clean possession. Lindsey Gomes takes it and kicks it over to Ariana Sylvia for the boxers. West Bridgewater now taking it through the Brockton defensive zone. And that goes out of bounds. We will have a goal kick from Lauren Seaver of the Brockton Boxers. And so far tonight, she has been spreading the Seaver fever around. She's made a, a couple of excellent saves, keeping the Wildcats of West Bridgewater scoreless. Rita Montrand passes it up through the middle to number eight, Nicole Fernandez. We have a penalty called on the boxers, so a free kick coming for West Bridgewater. Montron now at midfield, kicks it up, and Emily Quinn with an easy save for the Wildcats. <laughs> Lindsay Gomes with a good step to get it across midfield. Trying to find number eight for the boxers, Nicole Fernandez. Gomes up to Sylvia. Sylvia over to Montron. Montron with good footwork. West Bridgewater, though, with good defense, breaking that opportunity up from Narita Montron. So the score remains one to nothing in favor of the Brockton Boxers. We have a penalty called on Brockton, so another West Bridgewater free kick from their own 20 yard line. Sylvia knocks that one out of bounds from the Brockton Boxers, so West Bridgewater has a throw in. Brockton takes over and they will have a free kick. Lindsey Gomes getting ready to put this one in play. Back and forth possessions going on in the Brockton defensive zone. Now Sylvia has it going across midfield. She tries to put it up to Jen Caruso, unable to do so. West Bridgewater takes over, but Montron takes it right back. Has an opportunity for Brockton. Montron with it. West Bridgewater clears it, but not out. West Bridgewater trying desperately to get it out of their own zone. They finally do that, but Brockton takes it right back. Good pressure being put on here by the Brockton Boxers. Lindsey Gomes takes it, and we will have a penalty called on West Bridgewater. 
Lindsey Gomes getting ready to put this one in play from her own 31 yard line on the football field. Sylvia now over to Montrand. Montrand to Crusoe, back to Montrand. She leaves it for number eight, Nicole Fernandez. Sylvia over to number 11, Morel Marion for the boxers. Good move, but the ball is turned over to the Wildcats. Sylvia takes it back for the boxers. Sylvia going up the sideline. She crosses it. West Bridgewater takes it, kicks it up high, but not very far. And that one goes out of bounds in front of the Brockton bench. And West Bridgewater throwing coming up here. As we approach the 10 minute mark in the sec second half, excuse me. West Bridgewater makes a quick substitution. So Coach Michelle DeCastro for West Bridgewater trying to spark some offense on the West Bridgewater side of things. Coach Andrew Tassinari for the Brockton Boxers can only hope to keep up the pressure and maybe get a couple of insurance goals as Narita Montron takes over. And the ball is crossed and it dies down right at front of the West Bridgewater net, but nobody was there for the Brockton Boxers. Now West Bridgewater streaking up through the Brockton offensive zone, defensive zone rather. Brockton kicks that one out of bounds, so an opportunity for Brockton's defenders to get back. <laughs> Sylvia's got it. Just crosses it across midfield. West Bridgewater takes over. Lindsey Gomes trying to chase that one down along the sideline. Oh, and a violent collision between Lindsey Gomes and a West Bridgewater player, number 16, Olivia Arce. Sylvia's got it now for the Brockton Boxers. Puts it across midfield trying to find Jen Caruso. She gets it right back off of a deflection. Lindsey Gomes with it now in the uh, Brockton defensive zone. Montrand with it now, three on two for the Brockton boxers. There's an opportunity for Brockton. The shot, the save, and it trickles just wide. A good opportunity for the Brockton boxers to widen their lead. However, Emily Quinn for the West Bridgewater Wildcats makes the initial save and then the backspin put it just a little bit wide. We'll have a corner kick here for the Brockton Boxers. Caruso puts it inbounds. Jen Caruso now on the sideline. 
Ariana Sylvia now puts it in front. And Brock did not even able to get a foot on the ball to put it in the net. Brockton with good offensive pressure here. The shot and a diving save by Emily Quinn. Emily Quinn doing her best to keep the West Bridgewater Wildcats in this game and give them a shot at the win. Lindsey Gomes now. Turns the ball over to West Bridgewater. However, West Bridgewater unable to get clean possession, and Lindsey Gomes clears it. Jen Crusoe trying to track that one down. Unable to do so. But Ariana Sylvia picks it up for the boxers, and she kicks it out of bounds. We're about 15 minutes into the second half. Jen Crusoe now with it. Tries to get it over to Narita Montrand. West Bridgewater able to get possession back. Momentarily as Narita Montrand takes it back for the Brockton Boxers. And she just over kicks it a little trying to find Jen Crusoe out in front. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium. The score is Brockton 1, West Bridgewater nothing. And this game is shaping up to be a classic goaltending duel. As Emily Quinn of the West Bridgewater Wildcats and Lauren Seaver of the Brockton Boxers making a number of excellent saves to keep their teams at the scores they currently are. West Bridgewater now with an opportunity. The cross. West Bridgewater trying to track it down, and the West Bridgewater forward unable to get a clean kickoff and a clean shot. So we will have a West Bridgewater throw in. Here we go, Montron trying to chase that one down. Sylvia gets it for the Brockton Boxers. Opportunity for West Bridgewater, the shot. And it goes wide to the left of goaltender Lauren Seaver. <laughs> Brockton making three substitutions. Yasmini Texera re-enters the game. Number 14, Maria Del Pico comes back in. Number 15, Amanda Almeida coming in. Rita Montron streaking up the sideline. She tries to get to the middle of the field. She does. Here's an opportunity for Brockton right out in front. The shot. Oh, and an excellent save by Emily Quinn, knocking it wide. We'll have a corner kick and another excellent save by Emily Quinn of the Wildcats. <laughs> Emily Quinn tested very often in this game by the Brockton Boxers. Making every save except for one. Jen Caruso puts this one in. And West Bridgewater with good defense. Clears it out to about midfield. Now one goes out of bounds. We'll have a Brockton boxer throw in.
Jen Crusoe going over to the Brockton bench to have a quick word with Coach Andrea Tassinari. And we've got some West Bridgewater substitutions now. And a Wildcat throw-in. As we approach the halfway mark here, unofficially, in the second half, Brockton still leading the West Bridgewater Wildcats by a score of one to nothing. And a collision at midfield. And they rule that in favor of the West Bridgewater Wildcats. Number 15 for Brockton, Amanda Almeida going nuts yelling at the referee that that was a foul on West Bridgewater. There's an opportunity for West Bridgewater if they can chase it down, but it goes out of bounds. West Bridgewater takes that, and they clear it to midfield. Lindsey Gomes with an excellent move on the West Bridgewater forward. And that one slowly rolls out of bounds right in front of the Brockton bench. The throw and goes to Jen Caruso for the Brockton Boxers. Montron with an excellent takeaway there, but West Bridgewater gets it right back. Lindsey Gomes putting the defensive pressure on number 16 of West Bridgewater. Olivia Arce. We have a push called on West Bridgewater, and we'll have a Brockton boxer free kick from their own 30-yard line. Lindsey Gomes, with a very low kick, gets it up to Ariana Sylvia for the Brockton boxers. Now Jen Caruso with it. Dancing through defenders, gets it over to Narita Montron, back to Caruso. Caruso with a shot, and another good save by Emily Quinn of the West Bridgewater Wildcats. Sylvia now with it after that scare from West Bridgewater. And we have a Brockton substitution. And a Brockton boxer throw in. Tiana Brooks coming into the game for Brockton. She throws it to Ariana Sylvia. Lindsay Gomes trying to chase that one down. She does a good move, and we have a whistle. And a penalty called on West Bridgewater. Rita Montron with it now. She kicks it up to a West Bridgewater defender, and... Ariana Sylvia unable to get it at midfield. Mm -hmm. 
And at number 14 for the boxers, Maria Del Pico with it, and she kicks it out of bounds in front of the West Bridgewater bench. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium. Montron tripped up and the refs call it a push. Brockton will have a free kick. Mandel Mita with it now. West Bridgewater with good defense. However, number 14, Del Pico picks it up for the boxers. Puts it in front of the net. That one rolls out of bounds. We'll have a corner kick for the Brockton boxers. Narita Montron now getting ready to take the corner kick. A little bit of a change in... Who takes the corner kick? All night we've seen Jen Crusoe take them. Emily Quinn picks that one up for West Bridgewater and she will kick it from her own goalie box. Del Pico now controlling for the boxers. We have a substitution. And we might have a stoppage as one of the referees is tying his shoe, not watching the game action. Lauren Seaver picks that one up before West Bridgewater can make anything of it. Very high kick from Lauren Seaver to midfield. West Bridgewater takes over, but they turn it over to Maria Del Pico. Here to Montrand controlling at midfield. West Bridgewater kicks that one out of bounds, and we will have a Brockton substitution. This is number 11, Morale Marion, coming back into the game for the Brockton Boxers. West Bridgewater takes that one and kicks it out of bounds. Have a boxer throw in. Nearing 12 minutes left in the second half. Brockton still leading by a score of 1 to nothing over the West Bridgewater Wildcats. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bring you all the action. Special presentation of BCA Sports. We have a free kick ruled off of a push. So Lindsey Gomes getting ready to kick this one deep. Oh. Lindsey Gomes tries to make a defensive stop, unable to do so. And Brockton kicks it out of bounds. We will have a West Bridgewater throw in and a substitution. Thrown by the Wildcats. Sluice out in front, the kick! 
And an excellent save by Lauren Seaver. Rita Montron now with it on the sideline. Kicks it out of bounds and we'll have a wildcat throwing. Lauren Seaver with a number of excellent saves thus far in this game as we near the 11 minute mark in unofficial time. Receiver picks that one up before the forward for West Bridgewater picks it up. Sylvia with it at midfield tries to get it over to Narita Montrand. Unable to do so, and that one will go out of bounds. Lauren Seaver getting ready to kick it deep. Definitely spreading the Seaver fever around tonight. I think one of our cameramen, Peter Zimbor, I think I hear him coughing over there. He might be coming down with the Seaver fever. <laughs> Sylvia now with it. She's tripped up and we'll have a free kick by the boxers. We've got just about nine and a half minutes left in unofficial time. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. Your Brockton boxers lead the West Bridgewater Wildcats by a score of one to zero. Number of excellent saves by both goaltenders tonight. West Bridgewater with it now across midfield. Lindsey Gomes with it for the Brockton Boxers. Now it goes out of bounds off of West Bridgewater, so we'll have a Brockton Boxer throwing. Rita Montron with it. Throwing off excellent speed and foot skills. She's got room to run up the sideline. She momentarily loses it. West Bridgewater takes over and clears it. Ariana Sylvia. With a bad first touch, gives it over to one of the Wildcats. Lindsey Gomes now charging up field. She passes it over to Narita Montrand, who gets it over to Ariana Sylvia. Out in front! Jen Crusoe with an opportunity and a good save by one of the Wildcat defenders. Jennifer Caruso almost had her second of the game. She had an empty net until one of the Wildcat defenders came back and made an excellent save. And Brockton just inches away from opening up this game. We have a Brockton substitution. This is number 18, Maya Powers, coming back into the game. She replaces number 15, Amanda Almeida. Up 
about six and a half minutes here left here in the second half Down is kicked out of bounds off of Brockton, so West Bridgewater will have a throw in. West Bridgewater with an opportunity. And another good save by Lauren Siever for the Brockton Boxers, keeping West Bridgewater scoreless thus far. And she kicks it deep across midfield. Good first touch by Jen Caruso. Oh, and good defense there by West Bridgewater to break that one up. Another substitution by Coach Tassinari for Brockton. She decides to go with number four, Ariana Almeida, late in this game, approaching five minutes left. Back and forth action at midfield. Jen Caruso with it. She's in a foot race. She gets there the cross. And Emily Quinton for the Wildcats picks it up. That one goes out of bounds off of West Bridgewater, so we'll have a Brockton Boxer throw in. Wildcat throwing at their own 30 yard line. Narita Montron with it now. She's got room to run up the sideline. Stops the ball. Good footwork by Narita Montron. She gets it over to Jen Caruso. Caruso now charging towards the center of the field. The shot. And another good save by Emily Quinn of the West Bridgewater Wildcats. So we approach three minutes left in unofficial time. Lindsey Gomes with a good kick. Gets it up to number 18 for the boxers, Maya Powers. Who then proceeds to kick it out of bounds. We have a push called on West on Brockton rather. West Bridgewater will have a free kick with time waning down here in the second half. The kick, Lindsey Gomes with a good header to get it up to Maya Powers. That one goes straight up and out of bounds, almost into the sideline trash can. As we've hit the two minute mark in unofficial time, the official time will be kept on the field. I want to take this opportunity to thank the cast and crew of Brockton Community Access Sports. Starting first in our truck, the one, the only, and tonight, the very lonely, Paul Mandeville. As there's nobody in the production truck with him. Nobody needs to be. He's just that good. We got on, on cameras, the one, the only, the award-winning Nubirato. 
who has his own fan club here tonight. We have Mike the Postman Simmons on the center camera. And in a weird switch up, we have Peter Zimbor on our third camera tonight. And I am Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. So, a special thank you to the crew of BCA Sports. It's time waning down here in the second half. So time waning down here. Brockton Boxers still leading the West Bridgewater Wildcats by a score of one to zero. As we've got about 45 seconds left, one would assume. An opportunity here for the Wildcats. Shot goes just wide. West Bridgewater about a foot away from tying this game up very late. And that will end the game. And with the 1-0 win over West Bridgewater, the Brockton Boxers have qualified for the postseason tournament. Their final home game will be this coming Monday night. A... Later 6.30 start, it will be senior night here at Marciano Stadium. Wow, what a game. Good defensive battle on both both sides. And the goaltenders, Emily Quinn and Lauren Seaver, very excellent. Just, just an excellently played game. So we want to thank the crew of Brockton Community Access Sports. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, the final from Marciano Stadium. Brockton Boxers... With the win, 1-0 to zero over the Wildcats of West Bridgewater. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.